Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to get the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques. Learn everything about Excel. All right, uh, from our, an extended edition from our last Friday challenge, uh, Peter sent in a, a great VBA solution. Um, so we've got the same thing here as well. We only want to show specific data points from this data range by typing a yes in column D. So if I delete one of these, you'll notice it's now gone. If I type in yes again, it will be added to our chart. Now what Peter did is he created a VBA solution with a macro. Uh, and what he did is he's hiding rows in this. This is the actual chart range over here. So if I click on the chart, you'll see it. this is my chart range. What he's doing is you'll notice row 19 is gone, row 21 is gone, row 24 is gone. He is hiding the rows on these to affect our chart and essentially make it dynamic based on how we're displaying those. Um, what he's doing is he's got a simple formula in here. It says equals if D4 is equal to a yes, then let's show C4. If not, let's input 1 divided by 0. Well, 1 divided by 0 is an error. right? It's going to give you a number error because it's not a real number. And um, so what that's going to do is that's going to put a number error in here. And then he has a macro that says, if any of these cells have a number error in them, hide the row. So um, you'll notice uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete row E. So here's E at 446. You will see a, I'm going to hit the delete key, and you'll see a division by 0 error pop up. And then the row will hide. Let's do that again so you can kind of see how that's working. I'm just going to hit the delete button. So uh, um, if you want to check this out, go ahead to my blog at excel-dashboardtemplates.com. Download the file. And uh, if you don't have macros turned on, you'll need to um, turn your macros on by enabling the security setting. Um, and you can check out the code on my blog as well. Um, also, uh, if for your chart, if you uh, select your chart, go up to the design ribbon. And then in the design ribbon, if you hit select data, You'll notice that there's this hidden and empty cell button down here at the bottom. If you click on that, you'll see where it says here, show data in hidden rows and column. If this is turned on, the solution won't work, and your chart will end up looking like this. Uh, so that's something you want to make sure you turn off as well so that the hidden rows, um, as you type in more information, um, are not being shown. Um, so that your chart will appear to be more dynamic. So uh, once again, uh, this is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog. You can download the sample file and check it out for yourself. Thanks.